Creative thinking and critical thinking are vital to the survival of companies, personal development, and achieving success in anything at all. It is important to remember that the two things are different with one focusing on existing solutions and conditions while the other starts on a completely imaginative situation. The main focus here is creative thinking, a much more sought out ability in employees due to its rarity and potent. Many successful businessmen and game changers in the world are known as creative people above their hardworking attitudes. These people are capable to come up with new ideas that others are not able to think of before, and sometimes they can be so simple that others could see the significant differences between them. Because of that, many believe that only some people are born with the ability to be creative thinkers. It's true that some people with mental and developmental disorders may not be able to develop as well as normal humans adults could. But people have the capabilities to develop a creative mind regardless of whether you are more of an objective person or what people believe to be stuck up. There are five discussed creative thinking methods that everyone can try. The first method is not to be afraid to break the rules that are confining your mind. In several situations, those rules are the reasons that people have not been working their way to come up with new ideas that may solve the problem. Norms and habits can also be similar pressures that prevent people from giving themselves the chance to think of something new and out of the box. Without disregarding the importance of regulations that are put in place, people should not be afraid to question the rules stated respectfully and question its purpose, critical thinking, then proceeds to expand their imagination from it, creative thinking. The second method is to learn new things. You never know when traveling can be useful to a doctor and the connection between writers and actors, but we are all intertwined at some point in life. People didn't think that it would be so important for doctors to have good communication skills to uplift the mood of their patients, nor did anyone know the use of research upon paint that does not contain lead to prevent carcinogen components be painted in houses filled with families. Looking at history, many major discoveries are seen to be used in many different fields of studies and have brought positive impacts to human lives. The third method is to work out, yes. Sweating those things out as you let your mind relax and be empty from the workload can allow new ideas and thoughts to fill it in. Stressing yourself over those works won't help you become creative, but by giving yourself time to relax and breathe some fresh air can really make some changes. At the very least, you will feel better to continue with your work instead of getting frustrated. Aerobic exercises have been proven to increase the size of the hippocampus, a part of the brain that is responsible for imaginative thinking. Working out is also known to reduce stress level and is known to make people feel better and happier. Especially when you can see the positive physical changes in your body, you will feel satisfied with yourself, more confident to make your voice heard. Stress is a factor that can block creative thinking because your mind is too burdened and focused too much on the issue rather than the solution. The fourth solution is to brainstorm and mind map. By coming up with different scenarios in the group, you may actually trigger someone to come up with a fresh idea. A mind map can be done alone or in a big group. When done alone, it's a really fun time because it's also partly drawing, a creative activity every kid loves. Without the fear of rejection or being judged because everyone has their own style, mind map allows you to just pour your idea onto the piece of paper. Lastly is to wear the six thinking hats, white, black, red, yellow, blue, and green. Each hat represents a perspective. The white hat represents the fact and current information known. Black hat refers to the objective judgment on the idea or solution proposed. 
Red Hat deals with the emotional side of things. How will human psychology react? Yellow is the opposite of Black Hat, as it is optimistic about things. Blue Hat is the person in control of the discussion and makes sure everyone is on the same page, while Green Hat is the person who comes up with the idea. Wearing the green hat is definitely not easy, because this is also the person who is being judged by the other hats. He's also the same person who has to come up with better ideas and consider what everyone has to say. But the six thinking hats do not necessarily mean one person can only wear one hat. You can be a white hat and black hat at the same time, for example. These are the five creative thinking methods everyone can try to develop creative thinking skills even if you are not born with it.